Hey guys, Rob Murphy from Holistic Healing Choices here. Now today, got a little bit of a different sort of product review for noisy dogs, animals, whatever else. Today we're having a look at the Daza 2 Ultrasonic Noise Thingamajig Safety Device. So what this is, is it emits a signal not really hearable by human ears, but that disrupts dogs, cats, that I've tried it on, and probably other animals that you know hear past our spectrum. Is it any good? Does it actually work? Will it be of any benefit? Let's jump in and take a look. So you might be asking yourself, why would a healing channel have something like this? Where we are, we have a noisy neighbor dog that barks 5.30, 5 o'clock, last night, 1.30 at night. So it is a noisy little thing and disturbs our sleep, especially my wife who needs to sleep for 27 hours a day to really be a functioning adult. You know, on a Sunday morning when you think, oh, I'm just gonna sleep in. And then, you know, because we sort of back onto a pathway, someone's walking along that pathway and the dog decides to give it all it's got. Devices like this come in handy if the neighbors themselves aren't gonna train it. We're gonna dive into a bit of an unboxing. This is our Daza Daza 2 ultrasonic dog deterrent. You can't hear him right now because the neighbors are actually mowing the lawn as well. But this is a handheld ultrasonic dog deterrent and the battery's included from Key Enterprises. Works great as a pet trainer. They say it's for, must be in there already because it's pretty heavy. Oh, okay. Yep. <laughs> Circular silver front. Denting or damaging this can cause the days of malfunction and void the warranty. Okay, so it's got a little circular thing here. It is not much. You can clip it onto yourself. And really, all we've got here is the button on the front there. The 9 volt battery is already in the device, so I'm not sure. It's just got a couple of screws on the back to take it out. And Oh, you can sort of hear a little bit of something. So when the red light's on, that's it on. Can you hear anything? A little. A little? Yeah, cool. <laughs> okay, and that's the unboxing. There's not much else that's in the box apart from a few instructions as well. And I think it does tell you how to take the battery out if need be. I'll have to wait until a nice six o'clock in the morning to try this out on our neighbor's dog. So yeah, you can see from the box too that it has safety in mind as well. If you take this out while you're walking and a rabbit dog comes up to gnaw your kneecaps off, you can give it a bit of a blast with sound. Will that actually work? That I'm not sure of. If a dog is hell bent on trying to get you, but from what I've seen and tried, it really does startle animals or gets them to vacate the area pretty quickly. And you. Sam, yeah. Oh. Oh. Oh, it's good. And so you can see, yeah, the neighbor's dog, I've never seen him run off like that. It was just a wow. Like normally, even if you make eye contact with him and stare him down to like sort of shut him up, sometimes that doesn't work and he'll just stand there Dumb, with that dumb look on his face that most golden retrievers do. It worked. <laughs> for a hundred bucks, for your peace of mind, for a bit of quiet, and maybe to help train your own dog if it just will not respond to anything else besides yeah, raising a hand to it or doing anything that is abusive, this might be worth your time. So this is a hundred bucks Australian. You probably can find it somewhere else a bit cheaper. I want to give it a go, try it out see what it's like and spread the word if it actually did something. Now, when it comes to animal abuse, dead against it, dead against it. This dog that we're dealing with, it's been well over a year and it still barks every day at just about everything. It has been a lot quieter in the past couple of days, like two days since I've started using this thing. If it brings us back our peace of mind and you know, you don't have to hear him on these videos, that in my books is a win if it learns to settle down. And then, you know, we might not have to use this ever again. That's a bit of a win. It's not actually harming them. 
And two, to make sure that it does work, you can have a bit of a test. I hope it doesn't fuck my microphone here. So here is, I'm just going to put that up close to the screen, get my face out of it. You know, what have we got? 67, 70 decibels, yep, cool. If I can get everything in screen at once and clear. So I'm not muting the video at all. And you can see, yeah, it hits around that 80. Oh, yeah, wow. My camera one, camera microphone even picks that, picks that up in the room. So you can see there too, those high ones are where I've actually been quiet. And if we... Give it a blast on there. You can see, dead quiet. There's still noise going on, even though, you know, I can't hear it. Whether you can hear it on the camera, I'm not sure. It works, there's something happening, and it is creating peace of mind for us. So giving it a rating is a bit of a tough one. I don't know what it would work like in the attack situation. Would it be enough to deter a dog that's, you know, hell bent on doing some damage to you? I don't know, but it's a good start. And with a handy little belt clip, you know, it can just clip onto your pocket ugh, there and be ready to go easily. Or even be activated from your pocket pretty much. You just hit that switch, that little button on there. And as long as that goes red, you've got something happening. Oh yeah, it maxed out that <laughs> time. But that is the Desert 2. There are other variants and there are other variants that are noise or bark activated as well that we've seen online this one was probably the cheapest easiest one just to give it a try just to see if it actually worked you know without setting it up there throwing it covertly into the neighbor's yard somehow to help train their dog for them that they won't train i highly recommend it if you've got a similar problem or if you're surrounded by you know you don't know where dangerous dogs are going to come from for your own peace of mind your safety not harming the animals pretty good product. And hell, if it lets you get a bit more sleep that you need to heal and rest and recover, even better. So that is our little review on the Desert 2. Other models on there coming out as well. These ones I think are getting phased out because they are pretty old, as you can see on the packaging and stuff. I'm pretty impressed. Pretty impressed with how easily it works. But anyway guys, that's gonna do it for this one. I'm Rob Murphy. Remember to like, share, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.